hey 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 this is jay welcome 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 back to my channel this is everything diy business and fashion make sure you give this video a thumbs up and you 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 make sure you subscribe period so today we are going to do an apple band bracelet with these lime green and black beads and i'm going to show you what you need so first, you're going to need your beads. I actually got the lime green and sparkly ones from Etsy. And then the other ones was like from Amazon. You're going to need your measuring tape, your elastic string, nail clippers, split rings, scissors, pliers, your charms from Bougie Pieces, of course, your heavy duty jump rings, your spacers, of course, and your split rings. So with this particular band, I am trying out a new technique by doubling my string. Um, I am not 100% confident in it yet. So after this video, I will be doing a more detailed video of how to double your string and do your knots. But I think you guys will like this method. But in the meantime, check it out here.
So if you are unsure what amount of beads you need to use, it is always, always, always important to get a measuring tape and measure your band before you finish it. So have your customer measure their wrist and use your measuring tape. Sis, let's have a moment of silence and appreciate how I laid this lace. Yes, like look at it, honey. I laid this. Look at the baby hair. It looks so natural. Okay, okay. Let's get back focused. I just, I just thought, I just thought I let you know. Okay, just in case you didn't, you know, you didn't see it. Okay, bye. <laughs> Tying your knots is the hardest, hardest part of making an apple band. Um, it's the hardest part, like seriously. In this video, you will actually see that I, to this day, still make mistakes. So don't be so hard on yourself if you're not excelling tying your knots the first couple of tries. Also, this new technique of me doubling my strings, I think this will make the tying the knot process a bit easier for you guys but like i said i'm still testing the ropes still seeing how it is but i think this would be a really good second method to um tying your knots but in the meantime i push forward and then i go under the beat and then i pull it through and i tug at it as you can see in this video when i'm tightening the string i i like i don't pull i just i make it like jump so that's very very important and you want to make sure your knots are tight because that is going to help um like plays a role in like how your beads are laying in each row so keep practice 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 practicing you guys
and we are done i hope you guys enjoyed this video and get inspired to do this set yourself i love 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 this lime green middle robe with the rhinestone sparkle bead that is lovely do not forget to make sure your connectors are the same on both sides i left a little access that needs to be clipped but don't worry about that we're gonna ignore that part also i want to show you guys how i add spacers in the beginning but that is totally optional if you want to do that or not um i made sure i did five beads in each row and when I cut my knots. I cut it right at the rim of the spacers. And that's why you barely see my strings and my knots are hidden inside that spacer. But I really, really loved how this turned out. And I hope this was helpful. And I see you guys on the next one.